Hi Joy fans, my name is Sarah Frost and I'm private chef based here in Los Angeles. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make one of my absolute favorite go-to fall recipes. I've been already cooking it all through September, October, and now November. Um, and that is my butternut squash creamy Alfredo sauce. Um, you can pair it with any sort of pasta. You can have it on its own, but today we're gonna to be breaking it down for you in kind of a short version. Um, I've already cubed up a bunch of butternut squash so obviously we're gonna be using that as the base. Um, and typically this recipe is done with a little bit of heavy cream at the end, but thanks to Joy, we can make it completely dairy-free, which is amazing because so many of my clients are dairy-free right now. Um, so instead of heavy cream, we just use a little bit of the Joy cashew butter along with some coconut milk. The most amazing thing about this recipe is it is incredibly forgiving. You do not need to be exact with the measurements at all, which is definitely my speed. But for today, we're gonna to be using half of a large butternut squash, but if you find the medium or small one, if you wanna make it for six to eight people, you'd go for like a massive one. Um, so you need that, you need a butternut squash. I'm gonna be using half, it's about like two and a half cups to three cups um, cubed, that size or so. Doesn't really matter also. Half an onion one tablespoon of the Joy cashew, and one cup of coconut milk. And so today I'm gonna be using some rigatoni, but obviously you can use whatever pasta you want. Um, let's get started. So for the sake of time, I've already given this a little bit of a kickstart. The only thing I've done so far is I've sauteed down half of that uh, yellow onion. Probably wouldn't use red just because of the, uh, the color, but so I've sauteed down half an onion, diced, um, till it gets a little bit translucent, a little bit of caramelized on the top. Now I'm gonna add in this cubed butternut squash. I'm not gonna roast it. I'm sure you could roast it. It'd probably be amazing too. Maybe add a little bit of like a nuttier quality. But again, we're going for ease for today. I'm just gonna boil these. I'm just going to pop all of these butternut squash cubes into a Dutch oven or heavy bottomed pot, whatever you got. Um, I'm gonna cover it up with water or stock, throw in about a tablespoon of salt or something like that. A um, few cracks of pepper, and then we're gonna boil that off until you can pierce it through with a fork. Then, easiest part, we're gonna throw all of that into a blender, blend it up, add some coconut milk, add our joy, and that's it. Okay, so I've just added my butternut squash to that already sauteed half onion. Just gonna cover it with water. If you have stock, if you wanna keep it vegan, obviously just use water um, or some of those like mushroomy stocks that they're doing now. Um, I've done it with chicken stock, I've done it with vegetable stock. But for today, I'm just gonna cover it with water. Um, and then we're gonna bring that to a boil, add some salt, maybe some dried Italian seasoning, some parsley, chives, or you can just keep it completely simple. Bring it to a boil, cover it, put it to simmer, and that's it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to this. Um, but I just wanna talk a little bit about why Joy Cashew, I'm obsessed with the almond too, but recently I've been using the cashew um, in a lot of my savory cooking. Um, it really just adds this intense, but beautifully smooth creaminess that's not so dairy and creamy, if you know what I mean. It's more just a consistency. You have barely any taste from the nut itself. Um, so it's just an amazing go-to to kind of thick up any of my sauces, stocks. Again, we're doing a pasta sauce here, but I've been doing it in a lot of soups. It's an amazing alternative. Um, you just add one tablespoon pretty much any soup you're making, and it'll just thicken it up and it makes it so much more satisfying. Um, especially now when it's fall and we just want some satisfying comfort food. Um, but today we're just gonna be finishing it off at the very end. Once we add the coconut milk, we're just gonna add in one tablespoon of the cashew. You could definitely do it with the almond too. Um, that's my dog. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, what? Do you want joy? Okay, so it was just boiling. I brought it back down to a simmer. See how it's just ever so covered with water or again, stock you can totally use. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good cover and we're gonna wait probably about like 10 or 15 minutes until you can pierce it through with a fork. That way you know it's completely cooked through um, and then we're gonna blend that all up. In the meantime, I have made some rigatoni. I've cooked it to al dente, so it's probably in there for about eight or nine minutes. Um, I want it a little bit undercooked because we're gonna add it back to that sauce and it's gonna continue to cook over there. But reserve that pasta water. Right before I drain my pasta, I picked out about one cup of pasta water. This is gonna add just another glossy consistency to the pasta once we throw the sauce in with the pasta. We're gonna make it all glossy. Reserve that pasta water. Don't forget. So while a butternut squash is doing its thing over there, let's talk about how to break down a butternut squash. 
you can totally buy frozen for this recipe. I've done it before. They come in these really cute small cubes, pop them in, do the same exact thing, but we can do it with frozen butternut squash. But if you want to save some money, buy a whole butternut squash. It comes like so, right? The top end is over here. That's what we're using for the recipe today. You want to peel the entire thing. Just use a vegetable peeler, peel back that outer layer of skin. You want to get it down to where you can really, really see that bright orange color of the butternut squash. From there, again, this is the way I like to do it. We peeled it, right? We then cut in half this way, crosswise. Then split it in half again, because this is what holds, this is the area that holds all the seeds and all the gook. Um, you can roast this with the stuff in. You just want to scoop it out at the end because it's not that appealing. Um, so we scooped that all out. We scooped it out completely clean. And then everything else from there is totally usable. So then you can brought, um, break down into cubes from there. The top end is where you don't have the seeds, but every butternut squash is different. So you're going to find that it's different for everyone in terms of where the seeds are, but that's how you break it down. Find where that gook is, scoop it out, chop it up however you want. Okay. Here's the exciting part. So it's cooked through. We can, out hot. <laughs> we can pierce it with the fork. I'm gonna cut this heat, right? So we've done it for about 10, 15 minutes so the butternut squash is totally cooked through. Now, coconut milk. You can use regular milk. You can use almond milk. Um, you can use Joy almond or cashew milk. Um, I just love the coconut taste. Some people don't, not for them. But we're gonna add in about one cup Next, we're going to add in a tablespoon of the Joy Cashew. You can use it with the Joy Almond. Um, I just like the cashew in this one. You could add more than a tablespoon. I'm going to add like a heaping tablespoon. Add it right into there. And remember, after this, we're just going to blend it up. So it's like, couldn't be easier from here on out. Give that a little stir. I've also drained it sometimes if I want like, I don't know, you could make it like really, really thick. Um, so I would drain the butternut squash and the onion, um, but usually you can just kind of mush it all down. So we're going to blend this up. It's time. We're going to blend it up. She's been blended. Let's take a look. Oh, can you see? Oh. Okay, I can bring it closer. I mean, it looks like cheddar cheese sauce, but there's no cheese in it. However, you could put cheese in it. I've done it before. I wouldn't put mozzarella because it might get a little like stringy, but parm, quarter cup of parm in here would be amazing. We made our butternut squash Alfredo sauce. Now I'm just gonna add it to my rigatoni. And that's why we reserved that pasta water too, so that if this needs a little bit more smoothing out, we can go ahead and add some of that. Um, but look at that. <laughs> sauce! So, so, so good. And you know what? This is a two for one because you're having a bowl of pasta while also eating your vegetables, people. Polly, very interested in the pasta sauce. Oh my God. She is creamy and saucy. So that's why we did it al dente because this is gonna continue to cook, continue to thicken up as we have it over a medium low heat. I might even go ahead and add just one more tablespoon of the joy cashew because i just want to thicken it up ever so slightly um, but if we just keep it on a low heat the pasta will actually keep absorbing the sauce um, and it'll get thicker and even better as we keep it on this is totally complete you guys i mean it's just couldn't be creamier um, again if you don't want it to be completely vegan you can go ahead and add some cheese you can go ahead and add you know regular milk as well but this is how we did it today. The recipe is going to be linked below, and I hope you guys enjoy. We got to try it, right? Mm, 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 mm. My favorite. So good. Adjust, you know, salt to taste. But I could eat this all day long. Happy fall, y'all.